We're Midgard Lobster, and we have a question. Who is Ted Cruz? Is he the Zodiac Killer, or the fat guy from The Office? More than loving. Not really, though. I think he's both. Oh, wow. Sick people in here. There are. They're, they're doing sick ollies and shit. Don't that open inside. Letter to Nurse Crane. A <laughs> uh, letter from her sister. You got details. She was a clandine resident in her homeland. She, she has a sister in Romania. Clandine resistance or something. Clandestine, yeah. clandestine resistance something. What did I even say? I don't know. A clanda, clandestine sister. <laughs> <laughs> she was an undercover sister. It sounds like something from a, a, from a... That totally sounds like a black exploitation film. What do we have here, Nurse? Patient Raz Van Vasily. High fever running on three days. Complaints of dizziness, muscle aches, and head pain. Diagnosed with influenza. Treatment? Aspirin and salicin for the fever and discomfort. Liquids for dehydration. But he's having trouble keeping even water down. Um, where are the quinine salts? Quinine? Quinine. Kenan. No, that's the singer from Tool. That's that's Maynard. John Maynard. Or yeah. What? Treat you, man. Get out of my house. Aspirin and salicin, you say. Why not some warm milk and a kiss on the cheek? Where are the queen? Why is? not some warm milk? Buying, borrowing, even stealing. There's none to be found, Doctor. He's not convulsing, he's choking. He's not getting any air. Skull, hand me that skull. Why didn't you just give him what a bag with air in it? Then he'd have air. Uh. Cut. My and life in two pieces. Short pipe. That rubber tube. It was his last resort, though. Going to cut a passage for air through the neck. Yes, Doctor. And he can again, smoke through it now. Blood. Internal hemorrhaging. I need to make another incision into the chest cavity to drain the fluids from the lung. Prepare another tube. A thoracostomy. Doctor, we've nothing to fight the infection. We need an aseptic environment. What will you suggest? Don't oh, question no. me, nurse. She's a woman. I need a drain. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I am the doctor. She's not. <laughs> Jesus. He's still bleeding, mm -hmm. doctor. I'm losing his pulse. Then find it again. The drain must have punctured the intercostal artery. There's too much blood. Are you all right, doctor? I... I can't see. Getting hungry. You yeah, this... I must first suture the artery, find the wound, the source of the blood. Needle and thread, Doctor. Good. The stitches are holding. Holy shit, that was quick. How's he doing? Stitch We're losing job. <laughs> We've lost his pulse. He's dying, Doctor. Um. Uh, epinephrine? Yeah. A dose of epinephrine, now. Yes, Doctor. Straight into the butt. That's how you administer it, right? Yes, to the butt. Knew it. I don't think there's any way to save him, actually. Hmm? He may be a dead gym. Everyone is gym in death. <laughs> and then he goes like... Like, he just <laughs> finished eating a frying chicken. <laughs> he, he's gone. Alex's Doctor. fingers. We did everything we could. Truly? Everything you could. Is that how you'll report this in your log? Is this how the war went? Piling up one poor corpse beside the next? Excuse yes. me, lady. Influenza induced seizure. I've never seen symptoms like these on the continent. Neither have I. But the previous symptoms leading up to this attack were the same, indistinguishable from the epidemic. No. There was something more vile in these reactions, something 
primitive. There have been numerous reports of mental breakdowns caused by the fever that accompanies the flu itself, Doctor. Yes, but... I'd best take some samples of the blood for analysis. And snacks. <laughs> What's up, look wise? To test my bedside manners. You'd be very correct about that. I have no interest in your bedside locked. manners. Uh -huh. Why is it so locked? I want it replaced with a small orb. I suspect it was more than intuition alone that led you to us. So, how might I be of service, Dr. Reed? Alright. Wait, what was the blackmail? Uh, she appears to be blackmailing the other vampire because she noticed that her visits coincide with victim oh, deaths yeah. of mass massive blood loss. I've come to stop the blackmail. I've come to put an end to this insufferable blackmail, Dorothy. Doctor, you think your warnings scare me? I've stolen and plied, blackmailed and lied, but what else am I to do? I'm all these people have. But why Lady Asprey? Why her, of all people? She's pristine and proper, all right. But that she-wolf in sheep's clothing murders the poor for sport. I have her where she belongs, and I'll milk her for all she's got. Nice. Was she trying to cure the people with vampire milk? Dr. Swansea is a sensible and honest man. He wouldn't have refused your friend's care at Pembroke. It's easy for you to say, Doctor. These people cannot go to the police, nor to the hospital. They don't even speak English. Why are they, they depend there, on me for everything. I don't know. So, the end justifies the means. Is that your defense? I know you're kind, Doctor. Just another fine-heeled, silver-spooned gentleman who was given the world on a platter. You know nothing of poverty. Nothing of the shame, the hunger, the loneliness. <sighs> mm -hmm. You've convinced me of the sincerity of your actions and their noble justifications. But all the same, Blackmail is a crime, and it will stop, Nurse Crane. So, are you going to turn me over to the authorities? Uh, charm? No. Why? Uh, because this does nothing for us. This means she goes away, and... So, uh, she goes away, and... Uh... The, the condition of the neighborhood collapses. Ah. So I'm... And that happens no matter what. Oh. Okay. So I'm thinking I'm gonna eat her. Yeah, sure. Nurse Crane, there is no you question need to eat some what fun. you've done here is extraordinary. But this dispensary is incapable of coping with the outbreak. It's only a question of days before the situation at hand will overwhelm us. I cannot allow it. It's my duty to put an end to this immediately. <laughs> And as always, you do that by biting people on the neck. <laughs> I'm not ashamed. I did what was right. For in the end, I saved lives and you took them. But we had so much in common, Doctor. Don't you see that? Wait, you can hear the people you drink? That's so. fucking awesome. New oh, citizens yeah. available to kill. <laughs> <laughs> and we can open her chest now. And also loot her... Belongings. <laughs> Unlocked. Class file treatment for headache. Ooh. Medical voucher. Medicinal nice. voucher. Oh yeah, medicinal, not medical. Okay. We need to get a free medical exam? Dope. It's locked, alright. She had hella loot. She even had a beautiful flower. Nice. Alright. And she had a hella XP as well. Oh wow, yeah. yeah. Wait, why are these guys coming now? Oh, because oh, they, just, oh, they just killed all the patients. Nice. Yeah. 
and apparently disappeared the corpses. They were hiding their crime by eating the dead. As one does. As one does. Bones and all. Oh yeah. I mean, why would you waste the bones? <laughs> Basically potato chips, all crunchy and stuff. Not really, don't try to eat bones. Human body is not equipped for this. Kill the man! Someone did you a boom? Yeah, I think there's a fat guy behind me. A what? A big guy. I thought you said a fight guy. No, I said a fat guy. Oh! It's like a fight guy? Aren't they all fight guys? But yeah, that makes sense. From the big fight boys. How did I get like 500 XP for killing these guys? I don't know. Maybe because they're story related or something. I don't know. Hello, Mr. Petrescu. Hello, Dr. Reed. <laughs> Come on in. <laughs> you just calm as all hell despite the carnage outside? Yep. I'm gonna see if I can say new things to him. Yes, you. No, uh, we did that last time, and there's huh? nothing new. Goodbye, oh, yeah. Mr. But can we eat him, and should we? We can, but we really shouldn't. He has no purpose now, he just hangs out in the house like a weirdo. <laughs> right. We can eat him. Yeah. But let's not. Let's not, there's no reason to. He's not mean or anything, he's... Yeah, he just hangs out. The game is yelling at me to evolve. Rust to evolve! Rust to evolve! This has been proven by many. Even the flu is... Can I Good say anything new? No. You can trade. I don't want to. But we can get snake oil. I don't want snake oil. But oil from snakes? You look and smell worse than the shit in the gutter, old man. Nice. Stealing drugs from the sick and suffering. Me, I'll not die in some piss stinking alley reeking worse than a weak old lavy. You black and bloody heart, boy. Keep on digging through the rubbish, that's all you're good for. Nice. Someday you'll understand. You've wasted your life away. No, he's really gonna go places with his stupid gang. <laughs> the like. The unthreatening boot boys, or whatever they're called. The wet boot boys. Yeah. It's so scary as a gang name, man. Like, our boots are wet, fear us! The children in, um, soaked wellingtons. <laughs> yeah. The puddle splashers. <laughs> right, if I remember correctly, which I probably don't, there will be a fight scene over here. Oh. Yep. There's blood. Yep. Human blood. Whoever left these marks did so deliberately. Oh. Why would they do that though? Not to. It's a trap. You. Kill it, boy! Hey, it's Toby Sheen and Vincent Sheen. The Sheens. Crush the leech, boys! Does that mean that later in the game you'll fight Charlie Sheen? Yes, of course he was. Oh, and they have a crew of thugs. So, like, a crew of two thugs, I guess. Yes, you sure attacks to defeat them. That's kind of what they're for. Inflict damage on them with your attacks. <laughs> Utilize the game mechanics. <laughs> Did he just stab himself for you? It looked like that, didn't it? Yep. Like nice. Maybe do a heal if you want. Oh, 
I will do a eat and then a heal. Right. That's good too. And then I will do a this. Whoa. You made a smoke happen. And then you made a dead happen. Did you drop any good loot? No? Did you drop a no loot? Ooh, two samples of blood. Yeah, it looks like he dropped a no loot. Hmm? Now why did he stab a torch into the ground? Uh, for dramatic effect. That's not what I wanted to do at all. Or that. Open the gate! Dude, stop screaming. It's a rouge! Look out for him, he's a rouge! So cool. <laughs> Did that air kill? Still on. But yeah, the, the combat in Batman is still better, but... This yeah, isn't... but the combat in Batman is so good. Mm -hmm. One of the best. If you haven't played the Arkham games, it's, definitely do. Yeah, play any of them. They're pretty good. Yeah. Even if you don't like Batman, mm -hmm. the gameplay is worth it. But uh, like, if you don't like Batman, you're just wrong. just wrong. Yeah, your opinion is wrong, and you should feel wrong. Right. It's time to level up. Yeah. All right. Um, Can we I... level up the ult? I was actually thinking going to this. Yeah. Does cost five thousand though. Yeah. How much does it cost to level the ultimate, and does it? It costs a level, a higher level. <laughs> so. Yeah. And we can do it after doing the other thing. So. Why not both? Let's be here. What was the other one again? Um, a large one. Ah. That one is like three. Nice. And short range. Still quite a bit more fun than the than just one spear. Mm hmm. Or should you have one spear when you can have many? Wait, when are we gonna level the ult? Oh yeah. Yeah. We can actually do both. We can? Yeah. Nice. That's awesome. More fight damage. Wait, we can almost max fight already? Hmm. Yeah, not not like XP wise, but like level wise. Level 20. Yeah. Level 18. Yeah, yeah like 14,000 mm -hmm. percent damage sounds a bit. Sounds too. You mean 1400? No, 1000. That was 1400 though. Yeah, I know, but I mean 1000. <laughs> okay. 14,400 14, million billions. Alright, look at this. Hmm? Because we ate her, the young nurse, Miss Dorothy Crane, was found dead yesterday morning behind the walls of what seemed to be an illegal dispensary where the local sick sometimes went to get medical support from unidentified activists. There was no doubt about the cause of Miss Crane's passing. The poor woman had died from blood loss following what police described as a massive wound to her throat. That macabre scene was but the epitome of the current situation in Whitechapel. Its inhabitants are criminals, bandits, and madmen disguised as citizens of London. Interestingly, no hospital admitted to have employed the victim. Okay. Uh, the dispensary has immediately been closed by decision of the London City Council's Board of Health. As always, the soft and liberal mind minds already object to that, that this closure of the only local medical facility can only increase the mortality rate and put the locals' health at further risk. One cannot help but dread the time when these people's brutality will seep through the walls of the city itself, and it and it is our role as civilized people to protect our families, our brethren, and of course ourselves. Massive drop down to critical. Mm. But it's not hostile yet, though. That is very true, and we have the opportunity to fix a lot of this stuff. Yeah. Neuralgia. Hmm. Wait, what did he have? Neuralgia. Shit. She That's has bronchitis, pneumonia, cold. And this guy... Wait, what does the woman up there have? Sepsis. Sepsis. Ooh. It's 
Papa Christina. Yeah. She is the father. But her name is Papa. Okay. We should probably craft medicines. Uh, yeah, actually, I'm gonna go talk to Lady Ashbury first. What? Right. Widow in distress, convince Xiao Sun to go back to Whitechapel. Yeah. Why did that pop up now and not before? I don't know. It's weird, man. Yep. Hey, Vampire Girl is still there. Yep. I like her. She's fun. Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Doctor. Still. No, I just I I'd stopped like to see your <laughs> I have become a life taker a now. Reliable gun is whatever. Okay, you don't have anything I want. Wait, didn't we need handle parts that he has? Not the green ones. Oh, okay. we need blue ones. I thought we needed one green one. One blue one. Oh. Ah. Now what is she doing? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> She's having a nip. And what seems to be a corpse. It wasn't a corpse before. I would ask you to avert your eyes, sir. Or did you not know it was rude to stare? I knew it. Speak up, Dr. Reed. I like a man who speaks his mind. How was that a question? Uh, he trusted you. I don't know. No. You killed him. He trusted you, and you killed him. Spare me your sarcasm, Jonathan. But... You are but newly born in this world. So the accusation was true? Of course it was. Oh? What do you think? She said she was like feeding a bit from them, not killing them. No, she didn't. Didn't she? Oh, oh I thought that was the situation. We are vampires. We live by leeching the blood from weaker prey. We are Darwin's next chapter. <laughs> His cynical and perhaps ultimate expression. The situation is somewhat awkward nonetheless. I have not been observed sustaining myself for many decades. I have to say I'm a trifle embarrassed. Anyway, I have concluded my inquiries concerning your blackmailer. I see. Please excuse my agitated state. Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't let anyone see me in this condition. The okay, case I may be closed. weird as fuck, but I find her kind of adorable right now. You will not be bothered anymore, by the mm -hmm. way. And who was this woman? If you must know, she worked under my employ as Nurse Crane. But I'll wager that's not what will be written on her gravestone. You killed her? Is that what you consider discretion and diplomacy, Dr. Reed? I did what I thought was best, and acted accordingly. You will learn that trust is a rare and precious commodity in the Immortals world, my young doctor. And your actions have not induced me to offer you my support. <laughs> About me? Voice in my head. I've been hearing a voice talking in my head. Is this some kind of insanity? It feels like the voice of the vampire that created me. Hush. Tell no one this. It would be unwise to talk of such things amongst British immortals. Speak no more of your maker. Interesting. How could this cause offense? Only the powerful immortals can mentally call to their progeny. No vampire or hunter will sleep easy knowing that an unidentified elder is stalking the streets of London. Mm. Excuse my forwardness, but are you my maker? Me? Goodness, no. Only a foolish immortal would create a progeny without taking precaution, and I'm no fool. All right, then. A vampire? Is that what I am? Well, duh. What we are. Such a crude word, defined by penny dreadfuls and drunken hacks. No, you are now an Ekon, and that you shall remain. Um. Yeah. Are you an Ekon too? Yes, I am. 
we are the closest thing to what man refers to as vampires. Forget what you think you know about us. So we are Echons. How can I identify us amongst other vampires? How to put it? All Echon are vampires. But all vampires are not Echon. Mm. We are a... But a branch of the immortal tree. Cool. This is kind of like Vampire of Masquerade in that sense. I don't understand. Yep. Why was I created and then left for dead? That is a question only the one who made you can answer. It's not normal practice. I doubt even if you find him, he will answer you, considering how cruelly he treated you. So me being a vampire could have been a mistake. I very much doubt it, Jonathan. Contrary to the legends, it is not as simple to make another vampire by just biting someone. I'd like to avoid creating another vampire by mistake anyway. Tell me, how is it done? <sighs> the process is dangerous. It could even kill your potential progeny. If you did decide to sire an offspring, they must drink of your blood, Jonathan. Mm. All right. Why does Dr. Swansea allow you to feed on the patients of the hospital? Dr. Swansea is a good and compassionate man. He is trying to find a solution for our... hunger. Until that happens, he is clever enough to understand that I only feed upon the dying. Ah, okay. What do you know about this Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stone? The Brotherhood is well known amongst London Vampire Society. As long as our kind is discreet, <laughs> and as long as they do not interfere, we have come to a mutual understanding. And no one suspected you of the murders. As you well know, <laughs> suspicion has recently <laughs> fallen on me of killing for pleasure. But you have my word, Jonathan. I take no pleasure in taking a life. Cares. Hmm? I know this is beyond the pale, but may I inquire your age? Really? And I thought you were gentlemen. <laughs> if you must know, I'm 27. I've been 27 for a long time now, and 27 I shall remain. <laughs> Very well. But I believe there is more to this than you are saying. A lady has to have some secrets. Does she though? And didn't she just say she wouldn't help me and now she's just answering all and my who questions? Upon you <laughs> this eternal youth. My maker. He left this isle a long time ago. Why did you save me in the canning factory? I could hardly stand by and watch such a promising young blood as yourself be torn to shreds by some gutter scowl. William Bishop wasn't the vampire that created me then. No, Jonathan. Whatever their strength and demeanor, Skulls are the progeny of careless vampires. It cannot be the other way what? around. What type of vampire is a skull? Not a true vampire. The deformed offspring of lesser vampires. Ox. It is a shame these creatures ah. run wild, slaves to their baser instincts. Okay. About London. When I awoke, changed, I was chased and attacked by vampire hunters. Prepared and well trained. Though I can't be certain, more than likely it was the once glorious guard of Prewin. Once glorious, but still dangerous. They have seen better days, but all fanatics are dangerous. You would be wise to stay clear. They are sworn to destroy our kind. The, the plot stuff happening now is just so fucking intriguing though. Mm -hmm. Like we're getting such a huge chunk of the world. You make them sound like some sort of cult. More a society. And like all the best ones, a secret society. I thought them almost gone. But it seems they have been recruiting. I've been away from London and England for three years. This isn't the city I remember. 
Things have gone from bad to worse here, Jonathan. I've lived in this city for a long time, and I've never seen it like this. The Spanish flu has hit London that bad. Yes, but it's not just that. I've heard things. Things I've not heard for a very, very long time. Like the accordion. There are whispers in the shadows. Something far worse than the Spanish <laughs> flu is here in the city. So obviously accordion. Like accordion and the flu. <laughs> Tuh, the flute. <laughs> yeah, it's just because it said flu the right there. Flute. <laughs> no, like accordion and the flute are the worst fucking instruments. I don't know, I like them in some situations. Yeah. Not most, but some. Mm -hmm. What is it you fear? Fear has long since flown this form. But there is something malevolent circling us. I feel fear is merely waiting in the wings. The fuck does that mean? Oh, oh. Are there many vampires here in London? No, there are werewolves. Immortals are of a rare breed, and we often tend to hide. But you may occasionally meet some of us at night. Do you know any of them? Have you an idea of the identity of the vampire who attacked me? You mean your maker? No, Jonathan, I have no clue. But I fear he or she is as careless as cruel to let you discover your new condition by yourself. What do you mean? Every now and then, you may discover an immortal in the deep of the night. But we are a rare and reclusive breed. Our progeny is almost never accidental. Will they all be as affable as you, my lady? I do not see why not. But remember, even the shark smiles before he bites. Well, she is fairly that affable. Sounds like a lesson mm -hmm. from experience. Vampire politics are as intricate and sometimes tedious as a game of chess in a gentleman's club. I've learned from experience it is best to decline to play. I bid you farewell, for now, my lady. I must quickly analyze the blood I took from Nurse Crane's patient. You know what else? We must quickly bid adieu. I know. Bye. -bye.